The ground is sinking in one local neighborhood. It's happening in Marana. In a small part of the Pines neighborhood, the land is sinking under streets, sidewalks, and yards. The town of Marana and the company that built the subdivision are trying to stop this sinking and build the land up again. Now, your side's Craig Smith has more on how it happened and what's next. In Marana's Continental Ranch, in a small section of the Pines neighborhood, yards that should be smooth are slumping. Sidewalks have so many ups and downs, barricades are up to reduce the chance you'll trip. Streets are cracked and they have deep dips. The neighborhood was built on what used to be a gravel pit. An old pond was filled in but not packed down well enough. Developers noticed the land settling when they put in the streets. They reinforced slabs under the homes, but the streets and yards still slumped. Just look at this. You can see why the homeowners here are upset, but no one we met here today was willing to talk with us on camera. They say there's been a lot of neighborhood tension, and they feel the more publicity there is, the less chance there is they'll be able to sell their place. These holes are part of the solution pumping fill material underground to bring things back up. The town of Marana is planning to pay at least $300,000 to fix the streets and expects the home builder to repair the yards. Town engineer Keith Brand says out of eight properties affected, one house has had problems, but the rest of the sinking has been limited to yards and streets. We want to make sure people understand that this is an isolated area that's currently only affecting eight homes. There is a potential to affect uh, up to 20 homes, but it's not the entire Pines 1 subdivision, and it certainly is not related to the Pines 2 subdivision. Now, the town engineer mentions 20 lots as having potential trouble because they are in that footprint of that old pond, but most are on the fringe of the area. The trouble's been where the pond was the deepest. Repairs should be complete late next month or early March. Craig, thank you.